Okay, so this is the chest of drawers of t-shirts and this is the back. All right, I'm just gonna leave it. Pretty cool. Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing some ice dyeing on a t-shirt that I thrifted. I was so lucky to find a Pepsi t-shirt. Truthfully, I'm more of like a Diet Coke kind of girl. I found it when I went thrifting in Idaho, and I don't know if you saw that vlog, but you can watch it if you want. Thrift stores are a great place to find t-shirts to dye if you want like logos on them. So I'm going to start by prepping this one, and then I'm going to ice dye it. So first, what I'm gonna do is start by just putting my shirt untied into the soda ash solution. I'm gonna let this soak for about 20 minutes. Okay, so this has been soaking for probably about an hour actually. I'm going to wring it out the best that I can. And I'm going to actually put this on a drying rack. So here is my shirt. Okay, so I found that Whatever is on the flat side turns out nicer. So I'm gonna do it on the back. So I'm just going to do a classic spiral fold here and I'm going to put some rubber bands around it. If you're interested in learning more folds and more about dyeing, be sure to check out my online dyeing classes. I will link them in the description box below and at the end of this video. So this is the front now. Here is a close up of the fold all ready to go. So next what I'm gonna do is set up my ice dyeing station, which I'm going to use this tray. And I'm gonna use this colander. And I'm gonna kinda of try to like shape it to the colander. Like that. Beautiful. This is the kit I'm going to be using, which I highly recommend. I have downloadable swatches available for you on my website, and I'll put that link down in the description box. So, let's do this. We're gonna come in with fuchsia. I'm going to put dye along the rubber bands and just kind of follow the pattern that I've made with various colors that are all kind of next to each other on the color wheel. I'm going with purple, pink, blue, all the colors of the kit that are in the kind of cool story. And so I'm just going to carefully put the dye along those rubber band markings. If you're looking for more inspiration about ice dyeing, I recommend you check out my ice dye playlist, which I'll link down in the description below for you. Okay, so now I'm coming in with some jet black and I'm gonna go all the way around the edges. Just really easy. This black color splits really nicely and I'm putting it all along the edge of the circle just to kind of border it. Okay, great. I now have my eyes here. I'm being very careful to not knock the dye off of my t-shirt as I put the ice cubes in. So I'm just doing one by one and taking my time. Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna let this sit for at least 24 hours and try not to disturb it. Okay, here's a little update. It's starting to melt a lot and there's still some like chunks of powder in there. So I'm gonna add a little bit more ice. All right, so I put a little bit more ice on top. I think it looks fine on the top. I'm not gonna put any more ice on. I'm gonna let it sit for another 24 hours, but look, it's getting some really nice color on the back. So that's good. So this has been sitting for two days and you can see it has a lot of dye in the tray kind of just a big mess. So what I'll do is just take this out. This is the front and here's the back. Careful. OMG. That is a lot of dye coverage. The Pepsi logo is in the back here. Let's see back. 
I'm going to rinse it out with cold until the water runs clear and then I'm going to wash it on hot with Synthrapol, also known as Dyer's detergent. All right, so here is the round one of the Pepsi logo shirt and I got actually a pretty nice spiral. The only thing I don't like about it, and I guess I should have seen this coming, is that the blue and the red kind of melt into each other and you can't see the logo as well as I thought. Um, you would. This is just a reminder to you guys that dying is pretty forgiving and if you do a project that doesn't turn out the way you thought it would, you can always re-dye it. It's not a big deal. Okay. Like, I don't know if this is gonna work. All right, so I'm going to try to refold this. It's wet, unfortunately, which is kind of annoying, but I think I can do it. It has like a nice spiral, but it's very color heavy and I want to take some of it out. I want the front to be um, the nicest spiral, so I'm going to start on the back because I've noticed that when I do the back up that the thing on the bottom is always the nicest, cleanest spiral. So I'm just going to start by pinching. So at this point, I was not sure how I was going to re-dye it, but then I decided that I wanted to do discharge. Discharging the dye is a process of actually getting the dye out of the fabric. It never gets the fabric to its original color, but it usually looks pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to put my hot plate up to max and I have about an inch of water in the bottom of my stock pot. So I have my pot boiling here. I have my um, piece all tied up. I have some tongs because this stuff works pretty quickly. And I have some white bright. So I'm going to add, and I am wearing a mask, just FYI. Um, I'm going to add about a third of a cup of white bright. Maybe half a cup. It's all dissolved. This is the front. This is the front. Whoa! Leave that in there just for a tad longer. Okay. It's hot, but it's not like too hot. And then look, okay, cool. So let's do the front, the back too. And I really want that Pepsi logo to kind of pop a little more. So you can see inside there, it looks pretty bright still. Yeah. Maybe I'll just do a little bit more on the each side. See if it can get any more out. Okay. This is my soda ash solution. I'm just going to dunk it in there to kind of stop the all right so here it is after it's been washed and dried i think it turned out really really nice i love all these subtle colors that came through after discharging it and this is the back so you can see the logo really pops which is kind of fun and the spiral is really pronounced and it has such a beautiful gradient of all these really nice colors i love it i think it turned out so cute i Love that it's oversized and it's got this kind of airy spiral going on. I definitely think that this one is a win. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for a new video every week. If you like this kind of video, be sure to check out these other videos that I'm gonna put at the end and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.